Optimus Prime. I didn't know how to do this video, honestly. I really didn't. Now, uh, so, uh, how do I begin? I made a video a little while ago. Um, I think a couple months ago, maybe. Maybe just one month ago. No, it was a couple months. Um, about my problems with Transformers recently, and I'm, uh... Yeah, it's, it's, it's it read, every problem has been doubled. It's, it's Hasbro's ma somehow managed to make the problems worse. Even though I thought they were going to do it better. They were going to make it better. I thought they were going to make it... I, I had hope. I had so much hope. In that video, I complained about how we're probably not going to get an Earthrise Bumblebee. That is a re a re heavy remold of the Earth Cliff Cliffjumper. I was wrong. We are. Like, literally, like, the day after we got that revealed. So, I was excited. Not only that, but I also talked about... Let's see. I also talked about how Studio Series... There were the rumors... Oh, gosh. Uh, the rumors, the listings of G1 figures from the 86 movie in Studio Series. And of course I was pissed. I was pissed about that. But the day after, I, I, I like, literally the day after I uploaded that video, the reveal of that we were getting Kingdom, a what was supposed to be a big a Beast War centered toy line. That would be the next that'd be the next toy line in the War for Cybertron trilogy. So I'm like, okay. I, I was happy, I was happy. Yeah, Studio Series might have the 86 stuff, but at least we're getting Beast Wars. At least it's not just G1. This being the exact opposite of what would happen, but let's get into that. So, for those of you who don't know, I like Studio Series, and yes, I haven't actually made one of those videos. I, I know I was going through all the Studio Series figures. I don't. I'm not gonna do that. There's no point. Everyone else has already talked about everything, so why? I have nothing else to add. So, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Here's the problem, and. There's the reason I'm making this video. The reason I'm making this video is because I'm not hearing anybody addressing this as an issue. And that's G1. Now, I'm gonna be honest here. I love G1, if you need proof. G1 Soundwave. I even have some some CJ Earthways figures up here on my display. This, this is my display. You, you like it? It's nice and high up. Yeah, Dark of the Studio Series Dark of the Moon Side Type is a pain in the ass because he 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 has really tiny feet, make it hard to see. You knock him, you, you set, he bump him, falls off the shelf. Well, I figure that does that. No, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, so yeah, I I love G One. When I got the uh, Siege Skyfire, I'll get. Uh, When I got the Siege Skyfire here, I literally refused to call this Jetfire. That's, that's how much I love G1. Fire in the Sky is my favorite episode. And when I got this figure, I sat down and watched uh, uh, Fire in the Sky and SOS Databots with my dad. We, I watched G1 with my dad with this figure here. And, you know, we had a great time. We lo we, I love G1. It's, there's no denying how much I love G1. I mean, come on. I have a freaking stuffed Optimus Prime right here that I got from Universal Studios. My mother made a stuffed Megatron to go along with it. My mother crocheted this. I like G1. I got, I met fucking Peter Cullen. I met Peter Cullen. Oh, believe me. This right here. This poster right here. Signed by Peter Cullen. You want, you want, you want proof? Bam. Signed by Peter Cullen. My name on it. You don't believe it? You don't believe it? You think I found it somewhere else? Here's a picture of me and Peter Cullen. Boom. Take that. So I love G1. I think it's undeniable how much I love G1. But you know what else I like? I like other things. I like other things in this franchise. Like, 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 you know, you know what else I like? You know what else I like? I, I enjoy the movies, hence the studio series Devastator. I enjoy, I enjoy other things. You know what else I enjoy? You know, you know, you don't want to know what else I like. I, I like Transformers Cyberverse. I love Transformers Prime. It's my favorite Transformers show. 
I love the IDW comics. I love Transformers Animated. I, lo I like uh, Beast Wars. I even, I even enjoyed the Unicron Trilogy. I love the War for Cybertron video games. War for Cybertron, Fall Cybertron. I love those games. I played those games all the time. Just as much as I play Resident Evil, Batman Arkham Asylum. I... Freaking Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. I played those games as much as those. I'm telling you. I have... I know the dialogue from those games. I can recite certain moments from those games. Okay? Don't challenge me on that. You get what I'm saying here? I like other things that transform merch. I just, I'm not just a G1 fan. I'm not just a movie fan. Not just a Beast Wars fan. Not just a Prime fan. I am an trans. I am a Transformers fan. Which is why it, it's honestly. Oh, sorry, camera, camera work. Which is honestly why it's really irritating to see that there are other fans who clo gotta just close their minds to other things. Things to other things. In the franchise just because it's not this what they started with like people who've only watched the original cartoon who watched g1 they close their minds to everything else beast wars animated unicron trilogy prime the movies everything because it's not exactly g1 but you know what there are other things in the franchise and everyone and yeah everyone's favorite show is different i'll get more into this later but this is very important there are other fans there are other transformers uh, there are other Transformers series that people like. Like I said, Prime, Animated, The Unicron Trilogy, Beast Wars, the video games. People like it. I like them. I like those. I love Transformers Prime and Transformers Animated. They are my favorite Transformers shows. I, on, I Transformers Prime more than Animated, personally, because I think Transformers Prime is just a better, um, a better way to get into the franchise. And I'm sorry about my hair. It is messy. I don't know how to fix that. I, I tried before the video. I, I tried. I couldn't fix it. And the problem is, Hasbro doesn't see it that way. Hasbro sees fans of anything but G1 as the dogs. And the neglect, we're the neglected dogs of the, of the, that, of the family. People, people who like G1, they're the, they're the freaking family that gets the giant buffet. But we're the neglected dogs that have to eat, eat the food that falls... That, eat the, we have to eat the food that their sloppy asses dro drop on the floor. That's what we get. You want proof? I'll give you proof, okay? And I don't think it is even, I think it's undeniable. The proof I'll give you is, uh, it's going to be undeniable that Hasbro only cares about G1 fans. Let's talk about Studio Series first. Studio Series is probably the, the weakest culprit. Oh, I'll get to Kingdom later. Oh, I'll get to Kingdom. Kingdom's gonna be the second one. Oh, I'll get to that. So Studio Series, Studio Series, ah, oh, I love it. I love Studio Series. I have the boxes of wave of 2018 and 2019 up there. I have a bunch of the figures up here. I have Devastator right here. As you can see, I even I have a poster of movie Optimus right here. Uh, it's a big, big giant sticker. It's a big giant sticker on my wall. I love it. I, 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 I love I, I enjoy the films. I enjoy them for what they for what good they have. The CGI, action sequences. The only one I really can't enjoy all that much is the last night, but I will watch the movies. But I mean if I'm gonna watch all the movies in order. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch the movies in order. Like if I watch the first one, then Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, I gotta. I gotta follow up with the last night, even though it may be the most disappointing ending to anything ever. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to do it. I, I, I do it. That's what I do. However, the Bumblebee movie is also in series series. I like the Bumblebee movie minus one. Some of the bull, one thing that's the bullshit they pulled with up uh, with uh, Peter Cullen. Um, there are people who made YouTube videos, commenting, commenting Cam, made a YouTube video about that. So, I mean, you can check my subscriptions, you can see that he's up among there, but, yeah, it, you can see that very clearly, so, yeah. Um, uh, see, uh, recently, we got reveals that Hasbro will be putting G1 figures from the, from the animated film from 1986 in Studio Series. Now, if you watched that previous video that I mentioned earlier, my problems with, you know, the problems with, CD3, with uh, Transformers recently, that was a big no-no for me. I did not like that. I was not okay with that. But of course, you know, nothing I say matters, seeing as the, the general consensus, because, you know, the, really, the only G1 fans, which probably make up like half the fucking franchise, the, the, the people who only like G1 probably make up like half the, half the fan base. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm pretty sure that's the right. That's the correct number. 
yeah, they're, they're happy with it. Every G1 fan is perfectly okay with it, even though it's clear. Like, I will give you every last bit of evidence I have found, which is there. It is there. And it is proof that Hasbro doesn't care. If you think, oh, it means nothing, oh, it means something, with how much there is, with, with how much proof there is and what there is, it means something. It means something. Studio Series, first of all, I've heard a lot of people say that, and this is, say this, I've heard just about, just about everyone say this. And it makes you sound, I'm, I'm sorry, but it makes you sound retarded when you say it. It's technically a movie, so it can be in the movie toy line. No. Just, just no. When people say movie toy line, they, they mean the live action movie toy lines. You expect us to say live action movie toy lines every single fucking time we say it? No. This is for the live action movies. G1 has gotten a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff from the 86 film. We're even getting some of it in Kingdom. Yeah, we're not going to get everything in the studio series. So what's the damn point? What's the damn point? It doesn't belong in studio series. It really doesn't. It, it just, no. This is for the live action movies. If you think if Bumblebee can be in there, there are many reasons the Bumblebee, that the Bumblebee movies to toys, people are okay with that. Everyone's okay with that. I'm okay with that. You want to... Rule number one, it's a live action movie. It works. It fits into the whole reason why. And the aesthetic works because it's a live action movie. It has the detail, not just simple, blocky, no detail. A G1 hat. The second reason is the Bumblebee movie figures, specifically Bumblebee, the Volkswagen version, started off in the third wave. We are we are now on wave ten. Which, by the way, I have overload and blitzwing from wave ten. Um um, Soundwave, Top Spin, Skipjack, and Clifftripper have not shipped yet. Thanks. Thanks, Hasbro. You, you suck at everything. Even your damn website sucks. <sighs> Alright. Do I need more reasons? Yes. Yes, another reason is that the Bumblebee movie toys weren't the focus. They didn't detract from what the real focus was, and that was Bayformers. That's what this toy line was all about. Bayformers. And if you notice, there are way, like, yeah, there's a, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight Bumblebee movie figures. Yeah, sure, there's still a ton of others. There's, there's still a ton of others. Yeah, it may, maybe more than Age of Extinction than the last night, but that's because people like it more than Age of Extinction than last night, so I can get it. So I get it. Also, Hasbro screwed up with the first three. I had, had Hasbro not screwed up with the helicopter drop, it looks like a Bumblebee and Car Shatter, we would only have five. If Hasbro had just done these three figures that I have in front of here, they had just done them first. You know, the car, dropkick, off-road Bumblebee, and Jet Shatter, if they had just done those first, we wouldn't have a problem. We, we wouldn't we wouldn't have a problem. It'd just be five figures up there. So it'd be six with Cliff Chipper. Y do you get the idea? Do you get what I'm saying? The Bumblebee, but never, in every way that there's a Bumblebee movie figure, it's always more Bayformers than there is Bumblebee movie. Everyone, even the ones with two Bumblebee movie figures in there, there's always more Bayformers. Because that is not the focus. G the G1 stuff, I fully believe, even though we don't know what the next, the entire next wave is, I fully believe it's going to be the main focus, and it's going to be way too much, and it's going to take away from Bayformers. And if you think that, and if you think that, oh, you're just crazy, you know, have, you're, you're, just, you're just pissed off because you, you hate G1. Again, I love G1. And... If you need, if you, if you really still don't believe me that Hasbro is fucking over Studio Series, here's proof. These are the only three reveals we've gotten so far. As of this recording, it is October 8th. So, and the, usually it's around this time that we get some big reveals for Studio Series. We've only gotten three figures revealed for Studio Series. And that's the G1 Hot Rod, G1 Scourge, G1 Cup. No Bayformers, no live act, no Bayformers, no Bumblebee movie, nothing live action. Now, of course, it's probably going to be revealed after this video because Hasbro has impeccable timing. And I think Hasbro reads my, reads my damn mind because that's what they were doing this whole time. That, literally, that's what they did with Studio Series. They read my mind because I had the same idea. I literally had the same idea. What if we made a whole, what if Hasbro made a whole new toy line that made new, more higher quality figures that are more to scale, figure, new figures 
of characters from all the films. They go back, make new figures of characters from the films. What do you think? What do you think Studio Series is supposed to be? I even has a lot of the same ideas. Leader class Jetfire that merges with Optimus. Yeah, it's of course a no-brainer, but you get the idea. Yeah, how about a Voy How about Sentinel Prime being Voyager class? That's where do you think they got? Okay, they, they, right here. How about RC? See, how about Legend size RC Chrome and Alita ones all in one deluxe class box? It's a three pack, but it's seen as one deluxe class figure. I had that idea as well. Hasbro has been reading my mind, and they reveal stuff. Right after I make a video about it, just to make probably just to make me look like a schmuck. I know I'm probably sounding crazy, but it just feels that way, okay? Right, with how it's a total coincidence. It can't, it's a total coincidence. I know, but I'm just saying, it's crazy. I was probably gonna reveal freaking Infernicus or something, or I don't know something crazy. From, from the Bayformers. Probably gonna be a Bumblebee movie sound way. Probably gonna give us, you know, all the last night Decepticons. Give us Dino or Mirage or whatever you want to call him. Or we gonna give us a Muzzlife and Skids or something. Something. And you know what? I'd be okay with that. As long as we get a lot of the stuff that this toy line is for. The live action movie stuff. If you don't believe... If you haven't, if you haven't already been convinced... Well... Let's just take a look at Kingdom, shall we? Kingdom, the whole toy line that was supposed to be centered around Beast Wars. And what do they do with it? G1. What else but G1? There was a recent listing. Now, I know there's, pro there's probably there's going to be more figures after this listing, but there's a recent listing. Uh, you know, 33 figures. Th 33 figures. 33 figures. You, do you want to know what they are? A third of them are beast are actual Beast Wars figures from the show. Sixteen of them. That means that's that's thir that's eleven of them. Eleven of them. Yep, that's right. That's that's right. Only eleven. If you watch Beast Wars, you know there's there's more than eleven fig characters in the first season. <laughs> sixteen, six, sixteen G one figures. And six things that I call Beast Wars bullshit. You know what that is? Fossilizers. Yes. Yes. A new version of the Weaponizer. The exact same thing. Nobody cares about the Weaponizer gimmick anymore. Hasbro, okay? It was good in Siege. It lost its charm in Aerithrize. And now it's just a pain. And now it's, now it's just there. And nobody wants it. And Shadow Panther is just gonna be a is just gonna be a black repaint of Cheetor. That's what Takara did with their Masterpiece version. That's what Hasbro's gonna do here. Because you can't have a Hasbro toy without a repaint. And do you want to know what the 11 Beast Wars figures are? The ones I, I, I'm planning on getting them. I am actually planning on getting those because they look good. Let's see, there's... And even a lot of them have actually... We actually, we actually know what they look like. Let's see, there's Cheetor, Rat Trap, Black Arachnia, Optimus Primal, which, honestly, I think I'm the most excited for. That fur texturing detail on the, the figure looks amazing. There's Beast Wars, and there's the Megatron. So that's the five that have been revealed. The other six are Rhinox, Dinobot... Air Razor, Tigatron, uh, let's see, Waspinator, and Scorponok. No Pterosaur, no Tarantulas, no, no Inferno, nothing. None of that. No Transmetal Forms, no Silverbolt, or Quick Strike, or freaking uh, Depth Charge, Rampage, no Tiger Hawk. None of that. I'm sorry, I, I like Mega. I like all of Megatron's designs in the show, in Beast Wars. I wanted to see his uh, two transmetal form. D is Hasbro delivering that? No, because Hasbro doesn't care about G1, fa uh, about G1 fans. Hasbro, doesn't care. Hasbro cares about G1 fans. They're the only ones they care about. Hasbro only doesn't care about Beast Wars fans. And what's worse is that the G1 stuff is stupid. Oh, let's just make another real Jack. If, uh, if it's because you screwed up with... The Earthrise version, A, I don't mind the Earthrise version. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it could have been way better, but I don't think it's that bad. And B, why did you screw it up to begin with then? Also, they're making another RC. I don't own the Earthrise RC, but I've seen it. It looks great. Why are we making another one? 
Is it, are you just gonna re-release it? It didn't say Earthrise re-release like it did Optimus Prime. Oh yeah, by the way, Earthrise Optimus Prime just being re-released. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Oh, is that we're getting another Starscream? Yay! Because that's exactly what we need. We have, we have, we, you, what's that? We have the Siege Seekers. Okay, now we have the Earthrise Seekers. Now we're just getting Starscream with, with no other. The listing not showing any other Seekers like Thundercracker and Skywarp. I have the Earthrise Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. I have those three, all those three figures. And you know what? If they I'm going to be more pissed. I'm going to be pissed if they just re-released the Earthrise figure with Coronation Gear. That's the only way you can get the Coronation Gear. I'm going to be pissed. I'm probably going to burn Hasbro to the ground. Okay, I'm not going to do that. But I'm just saying, I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. I'm very upset about that. What's next? G1 Inferno. That should have been an Earthrise, okay? It's just going to be a repaint. Slight, maybe slight remold of Grapple. That's all it's going to be. Should have been an Earthrise. Then we can get the Beast Wars Inferno. It's a G1 Inferno but because they knew that if they just put Inferno, everyone would think Beast Wars. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Let's take a Earth Mode Ultra Magnus. Why isn't that in? Why wasn't that in Earthrise? You think that belongs in Earthrise? I mean, Earthrise is a whole toy about taking the seed figures, giving them Earth modes, and basically making the seed figures obsolete. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of what they did that, when they did that in Earthrise. I was. Mm -mm -mm. Especially since I have a bunch of the seed figures. So I gotta stay hydrated. Get some. <laughs> And if you're still not convinced, if you're still not convinced, if you're still not convinced, we're getting 86 movie characters in Kingdom. Cyclonus, Galvatron, Ultra Magnus, RC? Yeah. Hasbro is clearly focusing on G1. We're not even going to get all of the characters from the 86 film in Studio Series. If you are, if you do not see this, you are blind. It is right there in front of everyone's faces. I had hope for Keenan. I mean, I mean, come on. Leave in the comments. Leave in the comments. If you thought that Kingdom was going to be centered around Beast Wars, it's going to be mostly Beast Wars with a bit of G1, like I thought. Leave in the comments if you did. And it also, I want you to go, th if, if this, I mean, nobody's going to watch this video, of course. Because, you know, nobody watches my videos. But if people do, and they actually do leave in the comments, I want you to play a game. I want you to take a shot, you know, you know, bit, bit, of, bit of the whiskey. Bit, take a little bit of whiskey. Take a shot every time you see, every, every comment you see where they say, I thought Beast Wars were going to be centered around G1. And you're probably going to be dead. You're probably going to be dead before you finish. You're probably going to be dead before you reach, get through all the comments. It's going to be, just start just taking a shot every two, every, every second. Just, just start turning on my bottoms up. Just bottoms up, okay? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Take a shot every time I mention head sculpts. Take a shot. I take a shot every time someone says they expected Kingdom to be mostly about Beast Wars in the comments. And I'm sh now I'm sure Beast Wars fans were hyped. I mean I know I was hyped for Kingdom. I like Beast Wars and I was very excited. I'm actually I actually am excited for the figures that are going to be in there. The, the, Beast, the actual Beast Wars figures, the Optimus Primal. Like I said. I'm super excited for that. The Megatron, I'm also really excited for that. I'm most excited for Optimus Primal because, like I said, that fur texturing detail on the, the figure looks absolutely incredible. But I can't be the only one who is disappointed with how what Hasbro did here. Like, I can't be the only one. If it's not clear by now, well, I don't know what to say. But, to put it clearly, there are other fans of this franchise... And there are people who don't like G1, or maybe who do like G1, but it's not their favorite thing. Maybe there are people who like Transformers Prime more, or Transformers Animated more. I mean, I'm one of the people who loves Transformers Prime, and I used to want a toy line for Transformers Prime, a new toy line similar to that of Studio Series. But seeing how Hasbro's treating everything now, I don't want it. I don't, I don't want that, because Hasbro's going to put G1 in there anyway. Same thing with it's Animated, the Unicron Trilogy, the War, you know, the War for Cybertron video games, you know, like Fall Cybertron stuff. I don't want that. And Hasbro's even unreliable because where's our Decepticon Justice Division? Where's my Voyager Class Tarn? Deluxe Class Voss? Deluxe Class Kaon? Leader Class Helix? And he Leader Class Tesserus, huh? Where are those? Oh, we're ha having to rely on the third party companies to get that? No thanks. I, no, I, 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 I like money in my wallet. Thank you very much. <clears throat> if you. St to get the point across, um, it was another YouTuber. Her name is Speedy. She has a, a smiley face emoticon, you know, you know adorable, I guess. Um, she makes good content, especially about Transformers. And in her video, 
five years ago, holy hell, five, about five years ago, she made a point that, and it is one of the worst parts about being a trans, and yes, it's her video about the worst parts being about being a Transformers fan, because there are people who are closed-minded to everything else in the franchise and only like G1, and deem and think that if it's not G1, it's therefore bad. And the thing is, people come, come into the franchise from different series, whether it be different a different show, whether it be, you know, the movies, the video games, the comics. And she said, everyone had is their own G1. My G1 was the, were the Bay films. She said her G1 was Transformers Prime. Do you get what I'm saying here? Everyone else has their own entry point to the franchise. And everyone has their own favorite bit of the franchise. And there are other fans out there who deserve the attention that G1 fans are getting. I think everyone deserves that. I mean, it's not just the G1 fans who deserve it. And that's really why I'm trying to make this video. So that maybe people will see. people, And I really hope that people who aren't happy with this can speak up. Speak up. We may, we have a legitimate argument here that we are being neglected. That fans of something other than G1 are being neglected. We're not getting what we want because G1 fans are the priority. I really just want things to... I just want everyone to get what they want. It's not just me. It's everyone else. Do you know how many people like Studio Series? I know there are plenty of, there are plenty of people who liked Studio Series. I know plenty of people who did. Because there are plenty of people who like the movies. I enjoy them. I mean, they're not perfect. I mean, I think the first movie's good. I think the Obi movie is good, minus the bullshit with Peter Cullen. Again, you can just go look that up. They also do the same thing with the Netflix series. You see, I, I like them. I can enjoy the films. That's why I like Studio Series. I like Beast Wars. That's why I was excited for Kingdom. If they made a Transformers Prime one, I would... A new Transformers Prime one, A new one. With new figures, I would be hyped. I would be on that, like, white on rice. Okay? I don't know if you get that reference. <laughs> but, um, that's really what I'm trying to get, 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 that's what I'm trying to say is that there are people who love other bits of this franchise. And there's far more to this franchise than just G1. And I think Hasbro only making stuff for G1 is a huge disservice to everything else that we've had in this franchise. I mean, yes, we shouldn't just be harping on, you know, we shouldn't just be doing nostalgia, but when you have nothing new to, to go off of, you kind of have to sometimes. And that's fine. I mean, that's what Generations has been doing this whole time, and that's what Studio Series is doing right now, and that's what Beast Wars is supposed to be doing. Beast Wars, finally, finally, it's living up to his name. To, finally, the, to the whole line of toy lines is living up to its name. Generations, as me, as in plural, meaning more than one. I really hope Hasbro hears this and understands that. I, I, I hope more people can speak up about this. I hope I encourage everyone here to speak up because I'm just not hearing anyone complaining about this. And I know that there are other, there have got to be other people who don't like this. I am not the only one in the world who has this opinion. So nobody's probably going to hear this. And I don't even know why I'm even bothering to say this. But I just hope that maybe someone will see this and maybe, so, maybe some, someone will understand and hear this message. Hasbro? There are other fans, and they deserve the love too. Everyone has their own G1. My name is Awesomeus Prime, and I'll leave you with that message.